guys, what is going on? So on today's video, it is Ramen Noodle Wednesday. We are gonna do something completely different. We're gonna make our own, I think, ramen noodles. I did a haul video the other day and I, I bought some stuff to make my own ramen noodles at home. Down below is gonna be a link to the, that video itself. But here I have the ingredients that I'm gonna use to make my own ramen noodles at home. They're actually called boat noodles for boat noodle soup. So I don't really know if this is gonna be exactly ramen noodles. It's gonna be very simple. I'm not adding a whole bunch of ingredients. This is something that you can go look for yourself at the store. Now I got this beef flavored paste again from the Asian market and they had all sorts of different flavors there. But this is kind of the most basic one that stood out. They had some mushroom flavor. I think they had a hot and spicy, a spicy flavor uh, paste, but this was a very basic beef flavored paste. I wanted something that pretty much anybody can do and I think this is gonna be the one. I've got a few ingredients that we're gonna add in, into this paste. Obviously we got some noodles here. These were a four pack of oriental, just plain oriental noodles, $1.59. I added everything up that I'm gonna be using today and I came up to about, you know, divided it by four because there's technically four servings and I came up to about $1.66 per serving for these noodles. So again, nothing crazy. You can add vegetables, you can add all sorts of stuff to your noodles. Me, I'm gonna add in a drop or two of this, check this out. I actually did not have this on the other video. This is mushroom soy sauce. I've never seen it before in my life and I'm pretty excited to try this out. The other thing we're gonna add into this is pickled radish. This stuff is really good. We're just gonna open this up and I'm gonna put about half of this packet in there and then to spice it up a little bit, we're gonna add in a little bit of this garlic chili paste. All right, so basically this is gonna be really easy. All we're gonna do is add in two and a half cups of water to our pot. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the noodles. Gently take these out. Actually, there is eight little thingamajobbies in here. Check this out, there's eight of these. So we're gonna actually use two of them. I'm gonna use that much for this batch of soup, because I'm gonna double up. So I'm gonna use, see it comes in little things like this, little nests like that. First I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this water boiling. All right, so now that we got that going, I'm gonna go ahead and get this opened up, let that boil up, add it all together, let it cook for about three minutes, take it off, put it in the bowl, and we're gonna try it out. Hmm. Kinda smells like cur uh, curry flavor, okay. All right, everybody, so now this water is boiling and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in one spoonful of paste to three cups of water. I did two and a half cups of water. Uh, so I wanna get this in before this too much water evaporates. Let's add in one heaping spoonful. There it is, look at that, it's just like a paste. It's got a curry smell to it. So if you like curry, I think you're gonna like this. Next thing we're gonna do is add in our noodles. Definitely gonna add in a couple, uh, maybe something about that much right there. We're gonna add in some hot sauce to it. And we're gonna cook in some pickled radish. All right, and last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a few drops of this mushroom soy sauce. Oh, and one of the last things I wanna add in, which I have right over there, you can see it there. I'm gonna add in a couple drops of sesame oil in there and that'll kinda of, kind of give it a little bit of a better flavor and also give it that little bit of oiliness to it. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that and drop that in as well. Pure sesame oil. All right, so we got our bowl. And I think We've got about one more minute. We're gonna let this cook. It's about, we're gonna do about a three minute cook on it. When we come back, we're gonna be uh, in, diving in. It definitely smells more curry than it does beef flavor. Yeah, I definitely am excited because I absolutely love curry flavored ramen noodles. They're one of my favorites. All right, one more minute. 
All right, so these noodles are done. What we're gonna do is take them off. We're gonna plate them, put them in our bowl, and we're gonna be trying some ramen noodles. These things smell really, really good, honestly. And there's, a, I, I think cooking both of those packets of noodles was the good way to go because I like a lot of noodles. Uh, if you want a lighter version of this, you can probably go with like maybe a cup and a half of water, maybe one packet of noodles. So if you're trying to eat fast and go, but for a meal, this is a lot of, this is a lot of meal right here, honestly. Check this out. I mean, this is just a little bit right there, so. All right. All right, what I'm gonna do is I kind of, I'm gonna add one more ingredient to this, a little secret ingredient. I'm gonna add probably two to three drops of lime juice, and that's gonna give it a little bit of a citrusy zing. Uh, I think it'll add a little bit of extra kick to it, so we're just gonna do maybe a couple, two, three drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay. Let me turn this thing off. Hopefully they taste as good as they smell and look. Mm. Wow. Holy cow, guys. Holy moly. These things, let me come closer here. Holy mackerel. These noodles are really, really good. Honestly, they're a little bit more... Uh, flavorful, the noodles themselves are really good. Mm. A little bit more chewy than some packaged instant ramen noodles that I've had. Those things are amazing. And the flavor of that beef broth, I thought it wasn't gonna be enough. It looked a little light, the broth color. I thought it was gonna be more brown. And, um, but honestly, not very hot at all. I added just the right amount of chili paste. Mm-hmm. Mm. That pickled veggies. Let's see that radish right there. Mm. It's so good. And I get a little bit of a hint of the lime. Ah, this was a really good put together guess of a recipe. I, I just was guessing. I don't really taste too much of the soy sauce and maybe I didn't put in that much in. Uh, I get a little bit of the sesame oil. Mmm, this is awesome. I'll definitely be making it again. Definitely tastes like curry. Wow. Ramen noodle Wednesday has hit the mark. I was nervous about buying this stuff, that it was going to taste like garbage, that I wasn't going to like it, but this one is spot on. I love it. Mmm. Absolutely love it. And adding those little rat radishes in there added some flavor, a little bit of a pickleness to it. So it has some vinegariness, vinegariness to it. The oil from the sesame oil. Let me tell you, if this is not making you hungry and wanting to go to the Asian market and try this, I don't know. Holy mackerel. Mm, wow. Mm hmm. Amazing. It's so good. Mm. Holy mackerel. Whether this is called boat soup or ramen noodles or just noodle soup or beef noodle boat soup, beef ramen boat noodle soup, I'm in love with it. That paste is awesome. Oh, such a good idea. Mm. All right, we're done. Let's do a little bit of a broth test. Holy cow. All right, everybody, that is it. That is the video of the day, Ramen Noodle Wednesday. That is some homemade ramen noodles or boat noodle soup, whatever you wanna call it. It is amazing, you have to give this stuff a try. Make sure you go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button, that way you get notified of all of my newest videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. Until next time, make sure y'all stay awesome. We'll see you in a few more days. We got another video coming up. Until then, stay awesome everybody, bye. this stuff tastes like by itself. Soy sauce. Ooh, mm. That stuff's really good. Ooh. That is really good though. Has a soy sauce flavor, but uh, definitely has a little bit of a mushroom kick. Probably be really good on sushi.
Oh, wow. That stuff's good. I think I found a new love. But my wife is number one. <laughs>